look at this weather. I'm sure it looks absolutely beautiful on camera. But it is so cold. It's probably not the most sensible thing to be out on a bike. But I haven't been out for a week and I wanted to go. Even if it is just for a short ride. I mean on Saturday there was snow on the ground. And I don't know how to ride in snow. So I felt it was important to go out. The problem is deciding where to go. Because really, the cycle paths and the lanes have all got patches of ice on them. So you don't really want to be on the main road. And on cold days like this, it's your only choice. Or do like most people, and stay at home, in their warm house. Am I mad? Probably. The other difficulty is actually seeing. With the sun in your eyes. So difficult to see. What's well, interesting today is how many cars are out. I guess it's warmer sitting in your car than it is sitting at home. Okay, so it's difficult to know where to go. You don't want to go too far, in case you haven't got the energy to come back. And it is amazing how little energy you have on a cold day. 
because your body uses up huge amounts of energy just trying to keep you warm. And that's why, well, one of the reasons why your average speed is usually lower in winter than it is in summer. And I'm out on the giant. I haven't really been out on the trek much in the cold weather. Which is ironic really. Because I bought the gravel bike so that I could ride all weather. And I have through the summer and autumn But the reason I haven't ridden during this cold spell is because of the salt on the road. Because the salt really is so corrosive to all the bike components and so on. So now I understand why people have a winter bike. So the poor old giant has been demoted to winter duty. So I guess that does prove there is favouritism. It's also worth pointing out that the giant costs significantly less money than the trek. So by the time I get home, I'll have done 12 kilometres. And on a day as cold as today, I think that's about enough for me.